Hi, this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with a Mac. I just wanted to share with you this card that I made. This is a duplicate one that I did for my brother's birthday. For his, I just had the numbers 60 on there as well. They were tucked in under the bulrushes. So I just wanted to show you a few items that I used for this card. This card isn't my design. Um, I cased it from one of my lovely... Uh, team members Mel so I'll just show you what I did I used crumb cake for the base of the card and then I had a soft suede layer which was just five cent uh, half a centimeter smaller all the way around and then I used the rectangular framelits to stamp the fisherman and the greeting on there. So I used the Best Catch stamp, which is a fantastic masculine stamp. It's got the trout, a few greetings. It's got the fly um, on the hook, a nice basket and the hat and the fisherman and a few little pebbles and stuff as well. And you're also able to get these matching dies, which cut out the fish, the basket, the hat, the fisherman. It's got an extra few fish there. It also cuts out the um, fly as well. And it's got some bulrushes there as well. So it's a really, really handy set to use. For the background, I used the Crackle Paint stamp. This is a large stamp, which is fantastic for backgrounds as well. So it's really handy to use and really easy to use, especially on the Stamparatus. So with the bull rushes, I cut them out in a few different greens. I used Old Olive and Mossy Meadow and to uh, get the brown bits on the top of the bulrushes you could either cut them out and stick them on which I found to be a little bit fiddly or you could just use a stamp and write marker as well so this is an early espresso one which is nice and dark and I just used the big end and all I did for that was just color those bits in so that created the nice contrast as well I did a little bit of coloring on the basket uh, that I stamped first and cut that out with the big shot and I stamped the hat and the fly and the fish as well before I cut them out now with the fish I just wanted to bring to your attention as it's cut out I'm not sure if you can see but this fin you can actually um, lift it up a little bit so it gives it a little bit of extra dimension and for the coloring of the fish what I did first was actually emboss it um, I had a old early espresso embossing powder which I used but a copper one would be nice as well or any color that you want really or even a black one and then to color it in I just use the stamp and blends because they worked really well with the coloring of the fish so I hope you like this card um, it's a really nice masculine card and if you stamp your words in the wrong spot you can just sort of move your bulrushes over and bend I had the little um, leaves there you could just bend them over out of the road as well so i hope that's inspired you and let me know what you've been creating during this time if you're stuck indoors as well i hope you're all keeping well thank you for watching and don't forget there's only one week of celebration left and there's a few new products that are available to redeem as well so it would be really helpful if you're able to do any shopping um, that would be a big help to me because I've had to cancel classes and everything I'm in the same boat as a lot of other people during this interesting times that we're going through but I hope you're all keeping well and take care and happy stamping have a great day thank you for watching